Hi, Brachte Yahweh, Brachte Yahweh Shai, Brachte Yahweh, Brachte Yahweh Shai, Kalpla Yahweh, Brachte Yahweh Shai, Brachte Yahweh Kakadach, Double honor to the Elder and Pastor, Great Melt, and Wu Will, the Sarah Titan, and Oscar, the Prince of the Truth, the Cross, the Four Corners of the Earth, to the Fear and Power Yahweh, and Sound Shai, the Hope will let. Salutations in Israelite for you. I scatter them up the nation and believe in the name of Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the family and treaties of the gospel, preach around the whole world. Peace and mercy to you. Who the world entered call God in the name of Yahweh. Who the world entered call Jesus Christ in the name of Yahweh Shai. Hebrew is like that consistent of the so called Negro, Latino, Native American, and those who line descendants go back to one of the 12 tribe of Israel due to the scattering amongst the nations. All right, my heart called for the great military on the end of the camp here with the video. And uh, just the past couple of days of just images like this to see here on the screen of uh, former NBA player Dwayne Wade with his nail painted. This yellow. All right. And other, uh, these so called uh, men, all right, because they're not men, all right. All these, um, Whatever you want to call them, metro, tetro, homo, tetro, download, uh, tapping into the feminine side. It, it all, it was all, um, vetting to me. All right, seeing this shit. All right, and even out and about, dude, having they, uh, toenails and, and fingernail painting and stuff. All right, that's a new, uh, wave that, um, men are, are taking on to, all right, so this video is titled, we're the only true man, uh, real true man left, and I'm talking about the, uh, the prophets, all right, the true men of the Lord that's going out, pushing the truth, standing up for this wickedness, all right, now this shit is, 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 is getting ridiculous, you got this other guy, all right, he been by the camp. When we was in downtown LA, all right. Uh, producer A1 Bentley, but he changed the name to Free Break. My woman had pointed it out to me the other day. Hey, look at this shit. A dude. Shit, shit is ridiculous. All right, the shit. It, it, it's getting out of here. All right, so this, this place gotta be destroyed. Okay, this place already gotta be destroyed. Seeing shit like this. All right. Oh, I had to go down more. 5 and 20. I did 5 and 20 woke to them. They call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right, and that's what they're doing. All right. All this thing that bad and evil, they're pushing down the good things. All right. Especially amongst the, the, uh, the Jake, the Israelite men. All right, the why can they want to uh uh demasculate uh masculine masculine de their uh, basically do away with the masculinity and uh, uh make them effeminate, effeminate. Okay, that's what they want to do. All right.
That's Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto man. All right. Wear pants. Men attire. All right. Women not supposed to do that. Neither shall a man put on a woman garment. For all that do so are abominations unto the Lord your by shall shine thy power. Right. And you can uh, put fingernail powder along with that. All right. That's a woman's thing to do, all right? Uh, nail palettes, getting their nail design and stuff like that. That's not a uh, a man's thing to do. That's an abomination to the Lord, all right? So that's why another reason why they push that among the men of, of the Jake, of the tribe, because they want our people to be going off, all right? They want our people to be abominable, all right? First Corinthians 6, I'm going to go straight to the point, and 9, now ye not, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, all right, question be not the thief, neither for neither fornicator nor idolater, nor adulterer. All right, adultery, uh, idolatry, worshiping other god, nor effeminate. All right, and that's what a lot of the majority of men are are, are effeminate. Talking about their fingernails and toenails, painted. All right, like uh, tight dollar sign, um, little yachty, just the name of few. All right, there's probably a whole lot more out there that are doing it. All right, nor abusing himself of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkard, nor uh, reviler, nor extortioner shall inherit the kingdom of your house. All right, so you do anything, you're not going to end up in the kingdom of house. All right, let you uh, repent. All right, Let's turn away from your wickedness. That's the word effeminate. Malakos, thoughts uh, of a boy kept for homosexual relations with men, of a male who committed his body to unnatural lewdness, all right, homosexuality, all right, down here in the throne, a catamite, all right, and look up the word catamite. That they avoid kept for homosexual practices, all right? And a lot of these artists are young guys, all right? They might not necessarily be boys, but nevertheless, they're still young, all right? And they're being perpetrated for homosexual practices, okay? Back to the decorative of these uh, record label and stuff, all right? So there's a bunch of catamites, all right? I think fingernails all painted and, and, and shit. All right, walking around, walking around like a whole bunch of fifty. Uh, all right, home with the bitches. Peter 2 and um, I'm starting at 4 and for it your house fear not the angel that then to cast them down to hell deliver them into chain of darkness to be driven to judgment all right talk about uh us Israelites all right the wicked Israelite basically being judged and fear not the old world all right which was uh, destroyed by water okay it said, um, but save Noah, the eight persons, 
a preacher, another word for preacher is a prophet, because he was a prophet time for 140 years, all right? A preacher of righteousness, bringing in the blood upon the world of ungodly, and turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly. All right, and that's what we're dealing with right now. All right, we're living through the time of those that are living ungodly, as is as back in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. But guess what? The plague could be destroyed by fire, just like Sodom and Gomorrah was. All right. And deliver just a lot best with the filthy conversation of the wicked, right? And these people in the world are talking about adultery, doing this, this, and that, uh, how to plot, uh, extort, scam, fan somebody, all right? Uh, and then the whole uh, rainbow conversation, all right? It, it's vexing, all right? It, it's very, very vexing. Then you got to see them, all right, at the store, at the job, out and about, you got to see them with their uh, uh, filthy conversation, all right, so we're like the lot of, 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 of this world, all right, it's just like lot with the liver, the elect will be the liver as well, where that righteous Men dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, they were seeing and hearing all that shit. Better his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Alright? So we're oh, worried about how the unjust is going to be uh, destroyed. Just like Edward was told. Alright? But fire how the the the, uh, the righteous shall be saved. All right. So we're the only one that's dying and crying. That they appropriate in one, cry aloud, bear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their thin, and that's what we're doing. Alright? Clean out all the wickedness and the thin that y'all uh, so called Negro Latino Native Americans are committing. Alright? Because we're the only one that's standing up. Alright? Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right. And the Lord, how my child tried to unto him, go through the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that died and that cried for all the abomination. That mark is having that name, how my child tried. That could be uh, exempt from judgment. All right. And one of the abominations that we're dying and crying about is the. The, all this uh, rainbow shit going on, all right? You men being all effeminate. That be done in the midst thereof, all right? And that's what we're doing, all right? And that's why we're dying and crying. Because we're tying and seeing all this bullshit that's going on, the filthy conversation. We're vexed by it, and we're crying about it, all right? So that's pretty much it, man. We're the only one... Only because a real man gonna gonna uh, point out 
all the shit that's not cool. All right? If you're not dying and crying and point out with all this bullshit and the abomination that going on, you, you, you ain't real. You're not a real man. All right? You're not a, a true man of the Lord. All right? You're not standing up for righteousness. That's pretty much it with that. Or that, Shalom.